right. There's a time when you own your griddle that you have to re re-season it. And the first thing to, uh, the first step to re-seasoning it is you have to be able to remove the old seasoning, the old season, All right? So let's talk about the equipment or, uh, yeah, the equipment that I'll be using to uh, remove all that. So the step one is just removing it and the things you're gonna need to re-season is a bowl of water, right? And a water bottle, oil. Uh, I will be using olive oil, all right? Uh, there's gonna be people that's gonna recommend you use flex oil and all that. It's really up to you. There's no right or wrong oil to use, all right? And I'll be using steel wool, grade 000. And I found this. It's called an all-purpose 3M sponge. All right. Uh, the one thing I like about it is you can use it uh, wet or dry. And then if I put it closer, I love the word reuse. All right. Rinse and reuse. All right. Because when it comes to seasoning... Uh, Reseasoning your griddle, you're gonna be uh, doing it a few times a year. So I've owned my griddle for about seven months now. So I think it's that time, uh, and I'll show you once I move all this. I'll show you how bad uh, the top of my griddle is. Um, I would like to thank a YouTuber named Next to Dave. All right, he's the one that actually created um, a video that inspired me to kind of follow. So thank you very much, Dave. And I'll put his, uh, I will put his, his YouTube channel in the description below after I get done recording this. So let's get started. All right, let me get a good shot real quick. You can almost see how bad my seasoning, it was starting to come off. You could see like right here and you could almost follow it down here. All right, so that's kind of, there's no way of avoiding it. It's gonna happen, all right? The best thing to do is just address the problem and then fix it. All right, so my griddle is cold, all right? Just like Dave was saying, just, uh, Uh, all this stuff I found at Walmart, all right? So the first thing I'm going to do is just wet my sponge and just scrub. And all I'm trying to do is remove the old, uh, the old seasoning. do see it removing the old seasoning I just got to put a little bit more elbow grease see the sponge is getting darker
before when I started out I could feel like my sponge sticking to the seasoning almost see how dirty my water is getting this is how I've been rinsing the sponge it a little bit all I'm doing is just removing the seasoning it's up we're almost there I can feel it And while I'm here, I might as well do the sides too. I think we are almost done. I'm just doing more on the sides, a little bit of underneath. I'm gonna use the other side now. Cause I got a feeling we're almost done. Nothing is really sticking anymore. Everything's pretty smooth. I mean, I'll be honest, there's still a few seasoning still on there. It's pretty embedded on there, but I'm trying to get all the top layer off.
All right, every, the sponge is pretty, uh, it's running pretty smooth on the surface now. So I think I'm done. I mean, I do feel like there's some old seasoning on there. smooth so I'm gonna use the steel wool next if you're wondering where I bought all this stuff I bought it at Walmart right by the tool section in the drywall area And all I'm trying to do is smoothing everything out. underneath my griddle is pretty dirty it's still sticky Yeah, the one thing I didn't show you guys is I'll be using a paper towel. Uh, it's up to you. You can use regular towel, but for me, I'd rather dispose of it rather than wash it. So. Yeah, as I'm running uh, my paper towel on here, it's pretty smooth, but I can still feel the crevices. This is how dirty my paper towel is getting. Look at my hand. And all I'm doing is drying it. Look at that fully dry I think I removed majority of the first season or the first layer the seasoning process okay so that's the first step just removing the first layer I do have a little bit right here but it's all right it's pretty embedded on there so let me see if I could even remove it with a knife. No, it's pretty much stuck in there. All 
All right, step one is done. All right, so let's start off with step two. Step two is just putting a thin layer of oil before we heat it up, all right? I don't know if I showed you, but the, the last paper towel I threw away was pretty clean. So that tells me I took out all, all the junk. So all we're doing right now, all right, is we're just gonna spread this oil out. Okay. Like I said, you could use whatever oil you want, all right? Everyone just seems to be an expert on the oil that they use. You know, everyone has their opinion, like theirs is the best. I get it, you know? But at the same time, it's like, you know, you don't have to follow people's rules. I'm just showing you how I do it. It doesn't mean it's the only way to do it. It's just how I do it. So I'm just spreading out this oil. Okay. And then my next step would be just to turn this on for about 15, 20 minutes. I don't know if you want to stick around that long, but what's going to happen is my griddle is going to start smoking. And all it's doing is it's burning and attaching itself to the oil. So, pretty good amount of oil. I think I got everything on there. I even got the sides. I even did the sides. I think I got everything covered on here. sides too. Keep it clean. Keep it from rusting. That's really what this oil is for. All right. We're ready to fire up. Gonna open up my propane tank. And I'm just gonna put it on high. Two has begun all we're doing is lighting it up and we're probably gonna do this step three times all right that's what I did last time and it worked for me so this is the first layer of oil I'm gonna light it up for about 15 20 minutes turn it off let it cool down and then I'm just gonna add another thin layer of oil heat it up at a high temperature again for about 15 20 minutes turn it off let it cool down and then Throw one last layer on there, heat it up, and then let it cool down, and then we're gonna call it a day. Let me move this. Let me adjust it. See if there was any questions. Uh, no questions. If you're wondering what this can is, this is this is how I catch all the oil oil or a grease water. Don't worry, I still have this. This is what came with it, but it seems to run through the, the leg. So the way I fix the problem is I just use a used can and sit it right there and I haven't had a, any accident. I didn't attach it, all I did is uh, it's just a 45 degree angle, you slide it in there and then set it on the lip. You don't have to screw it. And then the good thing about it is when you're done, you just dump it and put it back on there. So I don't know if you can see it, it's starting to smoke. It's gonna be like that for the next 15 minutes. Hey, thank you for that question. That was a really good question. 
Just moving it to a good spot for you guys to see. This is a very long process. Um, when you do do this, make sure you have a, f a full tank of uh, propane because I'm not sure how much propane you'll be doing. But 15, 20 minutes of heating up the oil, that's almost about, if you do that three times, that's about three meals that you're using up. Because normally when I cook a meal, I average between 20 to 30 minutes. So what I'm doing right now is equivalent to three meals. All right, I'm going to I'm going to turn it turn this thing off. Uh basically what I'll be doing for the next few minutes. All right, what I'm going to be doing for the next few minutes is basically um heating the first layer of oil and then after 15 20 minutes I'm going to turn it off and then put another layer of oil and then heat it up again for another 15 20 minutes. So I'm going to repeat this process for about about 3 times. So Thank you for joining. As always, I will put all the equipment that I used uh, in the description below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please do so. And I'll see you next time.